evaluate integral minus infinity to plus infinity cos mx by x square plus a square into x square plus b square into dx where a greater than b greater than 0 given integral minus infinity to plus infinity cos mx by x square plus a square into x square plus b square into dx where a greater than b greater than 0 Okay, the given integral having the limits minus infinity to plus infinity and the integral function having trigonometric function so that it is contour integral of type 3. So in this type consider consider an upper half circle upper half circle C such that c is minus r to plus r plus gamma that is from the diagram you consider this is y axis this is x axis x axis is a real axis y axis is the imaginary axis an upper half circle this is upper half circle Okay, minus r to plus r. So what is c here? c is minus r to plus r plus gamma. The curved region you take it as gamma. Okay, so c is minus r to plus r and gamma. So this is c. So from the diagram, the integral can be written as integral over c f of z d z. It represents entire of circle it is minus r to plus r minus r to plus r but the minus r to plus r lies only in the x-axis so that you have to write f of x dx plus gamma interval over gamma f of z dz okay so by by jordan lemma Jordan lemma as r tends to infinity as r tends to infinity interval over gamma f of z d z equal to 0 this is by Jordan lemma so substituting here as r tends to infinity minus infinity to plus infinity this integral becomes 0 this this is only will give okay so now integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to as r tends to infinity this 0 only this interval over c f of z dz and now integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x is the given integral function cos mx by x square plus a square into x square plus b square into dx is equal to and this is interval over c f of z so changing x by z so cos m z divided by z square plus a square into z square plus b square into dz okay and now this cos mz can be written as real part of e power i m z because e power i m z is cos m z plus i sin m z but the cos m z is a real part so real part of this is cos m z divided by z square plus a square into z square plus b square into d z and now here I can apply Cauchy Residues Theorem. So what is Cauchy Residues Theorem? Cauchy Residues Theorem is integral over c f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z. Okay, so this is Cauchy Residues Theorem. So by using this formula, here real part of integral over c f of z dz by using this formula this is 2 pi i into 
sum of the residues sum of the residues of f of z take this is equation number 1 where where f of z is equal to here f of z is this e power i m z divided by z square plus a square into z square plus b square for this f of z i want to find out the residues okay to find the residues of f of z first i want to find out the poles okay the poles are by equating the denominator zero so put the denominator zero z square plus a square into z square plus b square equal to zero which implies that z square plus a square equal to zero and z square plus b square equal to zero from this z square equal to minus a square and z square equal to minus b square which implies that z equal to plus or minus i a and z equal to plus or minus i b there are four poles plus or minus i a and plus or minus i b but in the first in the second type of contour integral and third type of contour integral we consider and this is the upper of circle in this upper of circle always positive imaginary value lies inside the circle c negative imaginary values or lies outside the circle c therefore here z equal to i a and i b or simple poles and and lies inside say and lies inside the circle c but z equal to minus i a and minus i b are also simple pole but lies outside c outside the circle c okay so i want to find out the residue for only i a and i b so the formula for residue residue of f of z at z equal to a is limit z tends to a z minus a into f of z so this is the formula for residue for the simple pole z equal to a here the simple poles are i a and i b so i am going to find out residue for i a first and then i b so first residue of f of z at z equal to i a limit z tends to i a z minus i a into f of z what is f of z f of z is e power i m z divided by z square plus a square into z square plus b square okay to cancel this i want to split into two parts so limit z tends to i a z minus i a into e power i m z divided by this can be written as z plus i a into z minus i a into z square plus b square this and this can be cancelled put i a for z so e power i m into i a put i a here i a plus i a to i a put i a here i square minus 1 a square so minus a square plus b square okay so here i into i square minus so e power minus am whole divided by here minus can be take in the numerator because a square i want a square positive and b square is negative first term positive second term negative so take a outside minus outside so 2 ia into a square minus b square okay so this is the residue for z equal to ia so next i want to find out residue for z equal to ib so next i am going to find out residue for ib okay so residue of f of z at z equal to ib equal to limit z tends to ib z minus ib into f of z f of z is e power i m z divided by z square plus a square into z square plus b square okay now i am going to put z equal to ib before that i want to split into two parts so limit z tends to ib z minus ib into e power im z divided by 
z plus i a sorry z square plus a square i want to split into two parts this term so z square plus a square into z plus i b into z minus i b z minus i b z minus i b cancelled now you can substitute i b for z so e power i m into i b whole divided by substitute here i square minus 1 and b square so minus b square plus a square and put ib here ib plus ib 2ib okay and now this is i into i i square minus 1 so e power minus mb divided by 2ib into i don't want to take minus outside because a, all, a square always positive here so a square minus b square so this is second residue so now i am going to substitute in the first equation okay so what is first equation the first equation is integral over minus infinity to plus infinity cos mx by x square plus a square into x square plus b square into dx is equal to real part of real part of 2 pi i into sum of the residues sum of the residues okay so real part of 2 pi i into there are two residues one residue already we found minus e power minus m a by 2 i a into a square minus b square and second residue is this plus e power minus m b divided by 2 i b into a square minus b square ok now here I am going to take a common term outside so real part of 2 pi i by 2 i into a square minus b square commonly take outside so remaining terms minus e power minus m a by a plus e power minus m b by b ok 2 i 2 i cancel and there is no i term so all the terms are real part so collecting the real part it is pi by a square minus b square into first write the positive term and write the negative term so e power minus m b by b minus e power minus m a by a so which is the answer of the given problem